Hey everybody, we're taking a look at Skitch now. Uh, this is a program that I've used for uh, a number of years. I use Skitch as a way to grab screen captures, annotate those. I use those uh, in workshops. I use them in PD. I use them with students. I use them uh, to, to create assessments. I use them to for a number of purposes. Um, so basically, you can grab it from Skitch.com. Uh, the way that I use it is uh, Skitch was recently purchased uh, by Evernote. I use Evernote a lot for, as I've said before, my, my multimodal online network uh, notebook. Uh, but basically what Skitch will do is it'll grab screen captures. It'll also grab regular images and let you annotate those. Um, but I primarily use it to grab screen captures. So here's some possibilities. Let's say I wanted students to go take a look at a website I can go in and grab a screen capture, uh, go in and select a piece of the website, and then hit capture, and then I can go in and annotate this. And I can basically say, you know, this, uh, this is the URL of the page. So this would be a way for me to um, share this image if I'm trying to give directions, specific directions to students about where the URL is and how they navigate the web page. You know, I can do all sorts of other stuff. I can put boxes in, depends on what my ultimate task is or, or why I want the students to do it. I can drag it to my desktop and paste it into a Word doc, paste it into an email, uh, put it up on a website, um, use it in Google Forms, pretty much any place I want to. I have mine uh, set up with Evernote. So it automatically saves these into Evernote so I don't have to worry about ever losing something. So I have tons of different photos that are all in there from work over the years. Uh, what I can also do is I can uh, go in and read student work. So let's say I find a paragraph I want to talk about in class with students. I can go into Skitch and grab another screen capture and grab this paragraph right here. And then I can go in and I can annotate certain parts and say, okay, um, you know, this part of the sentence needs to be worked, okay, uh, reworked. So I can go in and add some text to it, uh, rework this line. If I needed to, this would be part of a website or part of a PowerPoint for class. Um, once again, drag it down into your desktop, uh, drag it onto an email, wherever you need to put it. Um, you can also use it, uh, we've been looking at research in class. So I can go in and take a look at a certain piece that students have had problems with and say, okay, um, what I want you to do is look at this right here and then say, uh, have a line with a little arrow and basically say, this is how you are expected to cite info. Uh, so basically I can go in, I can annotate this whatever way I need to, indicate whatever information the students might need to have. Once again, I can use Skitch to grab the screen captures. It'll automatically save those. I can go back in time to a screen capture I've used in the past and reuse it. It saves it for me. I can share it out. Uh, I, can, I can copy it. It saves it in Skitch. And then like I said before, it also saves it into Evernote automatically for me, which is very nice because I don't have to worry about it. Um, and I made my own little notebook within Evernote, so that also has all of my photos and images and stuff that I've annotated previously. So once again, that's Skitch. It's a great program. Uh, it's free. Free is a great price point, as I've said. Uh, it works well on uh, Mac. It works on Windows. Uh, works on your different devices. It works on iOS. Uh, works on Android, uh, so you can pretty much share your images across all the systems and use it wherever you need, wherever you need to. Once again, that's Skitch.